So this is the last trip of the year. It's the second trip with System 03. And the main goal is to continue testing its performance and test how it performs in rougher weather, which is because of this time of year, we have a little bit more rough weather. And we also aim to continue monitoring the wildlife that occurs at the region. And of course, continue extracting the plastic. My name is Maida. I'm environmental manager for the ocean cleanup, uh, basically assuring that we have minimal environmental impact while we clean up our oceans. We are currently in the North Pacific uh, in an area known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. And this is where the cleanup operations are currently targeting. So removing the plastics that are in this large accumulation area. We target hotspot areas, which are basically areas that have a lot of plastic. And this is done by computational modeling. So you use different models that calculate how much plastic is in a determined area. And we have specialists on our team that do these calculations so we can collect plastic in the most efficient way possible. We had our first extraction here uh, two days ago and it, nothing prepares you for seeing that mountain of trash just coming down out of the extraction section of the, of the system. It's really quite something. It was quite tough, I'm not going to lie. It is a, a lot of work. It's a very manual work in separating the types of plastics and going through what was almost 12 tons of plastic that was on deck uh, in this last extraction. So it is tough, it's uh, quite manual, laborsome, but it's also very rewarding to see the amount of plastic that were removed from the ocean. The success is usually measured in how much plastic we can remove from the ocean per hour. And another key indicator is um, how much wildlife is captured along with the plastic. So we attempt to minimize that as much as possible and that's also something very important when we think about how much plastic we catch. We currently have several different precautions to protect wildlife. Uh, the system is equipped with acoustic pingers that emit high frequency sound that's to warn marine mammals that the system is there and make sure that they swim away from it. We also have green LED lights on the system which is also a warning measure so to make the system visible to wildlife. We currently have bottom holes on the retention zone. So the, the retention zone is basically the net that's at the end of the wings that accumulates the plastic inside it. And on this uh, retention zone, we have three large bottom holes that allow wildlife to escape if it winds up inside this retention zone. The system is also monitored uh, 24 hours a day. We have underwater cameras uh, along the retention zone which are observed by environmental observers to make sure that no protected species, no large fish, no sharks are uh, wind up, are trapped inside the retention zone. We also have monitoring done through drone flights, so above the water, just to, to check that there's nothing hanging around the system. In this trip, we've had several encounters with marine life uh, on the way out here a lot of dolphins, we had some dolphins bow riding the vessels, which is always very nice to see. Uh, that's a very normal interaction with, uh, with boats. After we arrived at the garbage patch and we started towing, we've also had some interactions. We've had three whales hanging around the system for over a day. Um, not inside the system, they weren't interacting directly with the cleanup uh, operation, but they were hanging around, I guess they were kind of curious. And what we do to avoid any negative interaction in this case is to do continuous monitoring. So the drone was basically all the time flying over, making sure that they don't get closer to the system. And we slow down operations. We make sure to move away from the animals. And in that way, we can guarantee that there's no impact. One of the challenging things is that we are two separate vessels. So sometimes if we have an environmental event on the other vessel, then we have to communicate very efficiently and make sure that we get everything right. Uh, that's a little bit challenging, but so far it has, been, it has worked out very well. Um, sorting the plastic is also challenging. It's, it's very cool, it's very exciting, but it's also very tough, like physically tough. So that was uh, also one of the challenges. And yeah, I think that's basically it. I'm looking forward to continue seeing how operations work and hopefully 
uh, take all of these lessons learned and everything that I see out here to apply it um, a little bit better to the environmental management and assessments that we do on shore. So I think that's my main takeaway is to actually see everything in person and use that to improve operations as much as we can environmentally.